Have you seen modern classic quartz countertops? In this video, we're gonna teach you to transform wood into classic quartz. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. The recipe is simple and it doesn't get easier than this. We're gonna use stone coat countertop epoxy at a one to one ratio. We're gonna mix it for two minutes using a drill. We're gonna then add our additives, our black and our silver glitter. This gives you that bling and makes your countertop sing. We're gonna put that in there, we're gonna mix it up, we'll trowel it out and chop it. It's gonna be beautiful. It gives you depth and it mimics quartz. Let's sand, we're gonna sand the MDF. We've already done two coats of paint and primer in one in the color natural gray. This gives us a beautiful classic base that isn't too bright white. Doesn't look like toothpaste, it looks like stone. We're gonna sand that, sand the edges, be sure to wipe the dust from the sanding before you apply the epoxy. Okay, it's time to mix the epoxy. There's a couple of keys to remember when you do this. I like a lot of bling. I like a lot of glitter, so I'm gonna use my magic spoon. This tells me exactly how much I'm adding per quart. This is how you do a recipe to translate it throughout your project. If you have a large project, you can continually mix the same batch and get consistent results. Mix for two minutes, let's do it. Be sure to rub the bottom and the sides of the bucket as you slow that drill down. That's key for a great mixture. Hi guys, Mitch here, Stone Coat Countertops. If you're enjoying this video, click the link in the description below. We did all the hard work for you to recreate step-by-step -step white quartz epoxy. We're done mixing our stone coat countertop epoxy. We're gonna apply our black and our silver glitter. Again, I'm gonna use our spoon. We're gonna do one spoonful of each. It goes a long way. Keep in mind, particle size is important. We have a perfect particle size to make this look realistic. You don't want jumbo glitter. Sometimes that looks like a play school countertop. You wanna mimic mother nature and quartz so we have a great glitter. It's almost holographic. It really refracts and catches that light and blings out your project. All right, we're gonna pour epoxy right in the middle of our project. We'll trowel it, we'll chop it, and we'll torch the bubbles out. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll add a clear coat, no glitter, that gives us depth and it also protects our undertones. It makes it look very realistic. All right, let's do this. You can see how important it is to get an even finish. If I have a buildup, you would tell it's a different color. But now, chopping the surface will give us a very uniform finish. It's the secret to getting a great mixture and a great overall uniform finish. Using a chop brush with black bristles really helps see any loose bristles that may have found their way in your project. Clear filament sometimes is camouflage and you don't see it till after the epoxy's cured. So, pro tip, make sure you can see those bristles. Pull any loose bristles out, prime the brush before you start chopping, and you're ready to rock. Make sure you chop randomly. Don't do it in rows. Just be organic with your movements, and everything will come out very nice. Okay, I'm gonna brush those edges out so I get uniform edges, and then I'll follow up with my gloved hand to smooth that out. Oh, there's a bristle, and there's a bristle. See how you can see those? I'm gonna take a popsicle stick, I'll split it in half. Now I got chopsticks to pull out my bristle. Okay, I'm gonna use a heat gun to soften up some of the movement. This is awesome watching this. It really looks like classic quartz. Boy, that's pretty. I love it. Let's torch out any air bubbles that are remaining. Many of our customers love that elegant look. This is a beautiful approach to a classic quartz countertop. Guys, visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Have you seen our other color recipes? We have a lot of recipes that will spark those creative juices and you can match any countertop to your decor. All right, we'll see you on the next video. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this.
Thanks for watching. Click here to download our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to recreate this recipe. I can't be here all day. Right there.